I'm Frances Beatty. I'm Vice President of Richard Feigen and Company. I had the privilege of trying to do a show with Ray Johnson for 15 years and finally doing a memorial show for him. Ray died on January 13th, 1995. The memorial exhibition opened on April 27th. We borrowed over 128 works of art that belonged to friends of Ray Johnson's, people that knew him. I asked them to lend everything from toys to fully realized collages, and in some cases, uh, the masterpieces of Ray Johnson. Because the works speak to each other, I hung all the collages on the walls. And instead of hanging them very museum-like, one thing on a wall and then two feet before you see the next one, we had them kind of crammed in groups of threes or even groups of fours. And I think people really liked that. They had the feeling of being surrounded by the work. I wanted to do a retrospective to show the sort of range of Ray's work. So I started off with Richard Lippold's painting, which Ray did when he just came out of Black Mountain, which has that little black square in the middle, which actually has a scratched heart in it, which has to do with Richard and uh, Ray's relationship. From that, I went and looked at all those beautiful early pop images. We borrowed the entire series of Lucky Strikes from Jerry Ayers. Each one of them was a fully realized collage and then the accumulation of them in the vitrines was absolutely mesmerizing. It was one of the great works of pop art that I had ever seen. And it was the first time anybody besides Jerry Ayers and Ray Johnson had actually seen these works. Ray, of course, began to incorporate elements, we call them tesserae, and they're made up of little cardboard sandwiches, actually layers and layers of cardboard cut into little bricks, sanded, painted. Ray said, I don't make pop art, I make chop art. And I looked at that work and I saw all these little tiny pieces and I realized that all of those had elements that had been chopped up from his earlier work. I put all of the mail art in the vitrines. The volume of paper that Ray had sent out was really overwhelming. People brought in these things that I knew Ray made thousands of things like that, but yet every single one of them was to the person who presented it to me a kind of sacred object. When I did the show, I completely felt manipulated by Ray. I was simply discovering clues that Ray had left for me and following his instructions. Ray's uh, friends said, I thought you were going to call. He knew that I would follow this trail. It's as if he had left all these little crumbs. I really did feel like it was a happening. 